What's up guys? Here we have the Ford Econoline rear bumper with dual swing arms. Now this bumper is ready to get powder coated, but before it does, I wanna give you a demonstration of how this thing works. First, pay no attention to this. This is my personal van. And before I started doing any of this, that was my tire carrier. This swing arm right here is for cargo, built to fit a cargo box in this tubing right here so you can strap whatever you need to onto this swing arm. You'll notice a few holes right there. And that is for this can carrier that you will see at a later date. Pretty simple mechanism to open this up. You'll notice how far we go out over here. Once we have the arm all the way open, we just drop this pin and it keeps it in place. Same setup on the tire carrier. You'll see just how much room you have there for the tire carrier and also for the cargo carrier. Now, the reason we set this up to open up so wide is so that you can completely open both doors. We'll have a padding right here. That way, if the door is pushed back on accident, it doesn't scuff up the paint whatsoever. Same setup over here, and we are gonna have padding here as well. Again, just in case this door gets pushed back. And you'll see just how much room you have here with the door completely open to be able to load anything you need to in the van. And then same over here. And these spindle kits right here, you can get from Taboo Customs. Very nice design and very strong. Now this bumper setup is not going on this van. It is going on the white Quigley that I've posted before. This bumper build is also going to be uploaded on the YouTube channel. So if you want to see how this thing was put together, you do not want to miss that video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more updates on this build.